feel like we need to start this video off with the sound effect of wah, wah, wah. yeah <laughs> we weren't trying to build a lake or a pond man behind the scenes we were trying to put a yeah. trying to put a drain pipe in yo this would be really cool for drag racing little rc boats today <laughs> <laughs> that's not the purpose of the trench no. well if they didn't notice we got the rain they advertised yeah yeah we did well unfortunately for us fortunately for these people maybe Mm -hmm. I think the theory or the theme of today's video is going to be mud and water management. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, here's the question. There's a chance of rain again this afternoon. Do we go down through there with the dozer and try to push that water and mud out of there so it may drain out when we can work tomorrow? Or do we leave well enough alone until we see when the drain will get this afternoon? Need to get draining. Need to get it draining? I think so. You just want to see me play in the mud, don't you? Look how clean the look how clean the 850. This time of year, usually that thing is a muddy, muddy mess because this is what we deal with every day. Yeah. And so far it stayed clean, but now look at it. Now you want me to go down through there and get it all dirty. Yeah. No, not really. Because I do not like shoveling tracks out. That is the worst job ever on any excavating job is shoveling your tracks it out. is it sucks um, i do agree with your statement though that if we want any chance at all of working mm -hmm. tomorrow we We're probably need to drain that um don't look like it's draining itself or we could let it go so the winds we had yesterday if we didn't have the wind i think the wind could have blew that out <laughs> holy cow we missed the we missed the tornado to the north and to the south and yeah. to the east and to the west but yeah they don't like us which is fine we don't want any visits yeah. from them guys anyways yeah. all right well let me fire the dozer up and uh i guess i'll fire the dozer up and get me a mud plug and just shove it down through there and mm -hmm. clean it out yep all right all right he's like 200 yards that way He's getting his uh, dirt plug, gonna shove it in, and then start pushing this water. Uh, that's too far for me to walk. I'm gonna stay right here and go the other way. need a surfboard or a little boogie board ride these waves it's like a little wave pool right here you guys see that water coming down through here oh yeah make a good little wave pool it is way too cold to get in that today
I got the water running in the right direction here. Um, have one little spotter or wind roll. We didn't have the dams built up high enough on both sides there, so we had water running in just a little bit back in here. So he's just gonna go back and get this little bit here that ran back in. It just keeps a good, slow, steady pace now. Hopefully that water will push right on through and won't go out of the banks there. but a lot of that's coming off that hill too. I don't know if they'll be able to get much more of it. There we go. Now we're doing something I'd do there. I like that there. Yes. Now I can grab that rope water and run down this way. Well, water's gone. Yeah, water's gone. Who said you can't push water with a bulldozer? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got. Uh, I was going to put us a ditch across here, then I realized we're parked on that side of it. Yeah, yeah we are. <laughs> so but still, you got. It's draining it though. Where it's draining this yeah. way. So I don't know what it is about this dirt. It's the same way we were cutting this trench in. It's like it's layered and that blade just sucks underneath the layer and it's hard to it's hard to really skim but i don't know i think that's mission accomplished for now so we'll let this sit for a few hours and uh drain if this sun stays out and the wind stays blowing i think we got a fighting chance we just gotta yeah. miss the uh, showers this afternoon so yeah <coughs> all right well while this is draining patiently uh we need to go do a small little job for our favorite customer. Yeah. We haven't worked for him yet this year. No, we haven't. Oh, Farmer Chris. Yep. Yeah. yeah. But guess what? There's mud there too. Yeah. But we're going to go back. We're going to go back to the site. Same job where you pulled the top plow into. <laughs> was not me. But I, I, I got video proof it wasn't me. <laughs> but well, I, actually, you got video proof it wasn't me. <laughs> You're using my line now. <laughs> The, uh, they're not going to believe what that field looks like. Yeah, yeah. I ain't got to see it after a good rain. Really? Yeah. You, won't, you won't even recognize it. It looks so different. So. Yeah. All right. Well, we need to load up the... Uh, what we got to take? 304? Yeah, that's going to be the quickest, easiest thing to get right now. Yeah, unless you... Anything else out on other jobs. You think they can feel how cold that wind is through the camera? It's supposed to be summertime right now, and it's not. Oh, well. All right. I'm bundled up. They should know how cold it is. Well, we're gonna go get, uh, let's go load the 304 up. We'll head up there. We got one small addition we need to add to the system. I'll explain to you guys when we get there. 
And then we got another job we did a while back that um, I guess we're going to do a small repair on it from what I've gathered. But uh, yeah, let's go do it. Make, uh, make what we can out of this day. You remember how we uh, stopped short up here so we didn't have a bunch of water coming down through our trench? Yeah. That was probably a very good decision because uh, can you see all the water coming oh, out there? Oh man, yeah, there's a bunch of water coming. Oh yeah, you imagine that'd that have been was all, all in the trench if we would have. We never would have got it dried up. No. That right now is going across the road into this dry dam we built last year, which is taking it right now. But uh, hopefully when we get this system in over here, it'll alleviate some of the pressure off that. Yeah. But yeah, she's wet up through there, bud. Yeah, it is. This field lays way flat through here. You guys can see after the rain, all the water just lays in there. It does not help out our crop situation any. A lot of water out there. Yep. Yes, there is. I, I like water. I'm a lake guy. I know you're a farmer now, so you don't like that much water. Well, I like it in you, moderation. You like your crops. I like my water. I like it in moderation at certain times. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Yeah, we could make some really cool looking lakes out here. Oh yeah, the only problem is the river gets into all these. Yeah, that is true. <clears throat> That's the only downfall. Yeah, you'd have a bunch of Asian carp in there. There's the other system we put in last year. That one's working good too. It's just about drained out this morning. Yeah, I know we got an inch and a half in like 10 minutes. I was going to say, that was the thing. It all come at once, so. Uh, I don't know what it was exactly. A mountain down here, but at home. Well, let's go get the trailer, hook up the uh, load up 304, and we'll go see what Chris has got this morning. Yep. Oh, <laughs> you missed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta leave that clip in there. Mr. Perfect, not as good as me. I hit it the first time every time. Well, go ahead. We'll, we'll sit uh, back here and pull up. I guess I'll have to do it. And we're not going to do any guiding. We're just going to sit here with our hands in our pocket because it's cold. Yeah, it might work. It might work. You're going to have to do a little foot persuasion. Oh, yeah. Well. That's where I do my stretching flexing. Oh. Oh. Gosh dang. Oh, man. Okay, here it is. Yeah. That's how I want to do it. How come you're out of breath, man? Well, you know, that's how I get my morning stretch in my right leg. I just want more water. Oh my goodness. The next trailer is going to have a hydraulic jack on it. The fuel trailer has officially ruined this. Yep. Officially. Right behind the scenes, would you just look at that field? Oh, I know it. That looks. It don't even look like the same field we cleared off this fall, does no. it? It's crazy. Got what? No idea. What's up? We see how long it takes for it to grow back up. One, two. No. <laughs> we worked too hard for it, so. Oh, you got the camera roll. <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay. All right, we uh, we're back on the abandoned farm down here, and uh, we've done some work down here. We didn't get on video. Crash has opened up our driveway entrance for us. We got full possession of the other barn up there. He's got it partially cleaned out. All the animals have been rehomed. Hopefully sooner rather than later, we need to get down here and finish tearing out this fence, picking up our piles over there, and uh, fill in the pond back there. Yeah. Oh, wow. and the uh, neighbor finally got the electrical service reworked, which means this pole is now out of the middle of our yard. Yeah. Which gives us even more room to uh, pull around, but... Uh, 
I promise there'll be more videos coming on in this at some point, guys. We just haven't had time to get down here. And it's been a little piddle here and there, and actually Crash has done a majority of the work yeah. here recently. I'm proud of him. Well, <laughs> we haven't. Well, kind of. We haven't looked it over real close. Yeah. Yet, so. <laughs> All right. Love 304. I'll give you guys a little bit of a quick little sneak peek inside. If you've seen this before, you know how much uh, how much we've cleaned this out and how much better it looks. But definitely can tell when we got a few roof leaks out now. I need to get up there and address some of those. But all in all, it uh, it's coming around. It's looking pretty good. Chris just kind of pushed everything to that end. We'll take the excavator and pick it up and get it out of there. But uh, like I said, all the animals are gone. I think we're going to take this out. Or we can access through here, but I think we're gonna leave everything on that side. Probably also gonna leave the loft, a little bit of extra storage, but that's all to be determined in the future. That is not in this video. So hopefully Captain Kleeman comes and gets his glass blocks before those pallets rot away. They've been sitting there for a while. There's the tree saw we got stored away. Hopefully we can get that thing on a job here soon too. Got a few things in mind for it. So, all right, enough rambling. Let's get this thing loaded up. That has got the loudest, the loudest buzzer beeper thing on it. I don't know why it's so annoying. I told you guys how super handy this trailer is. It's got a lot of miles on it. It has been used and abused, but uh, it's held up well. It's been one of the handier trailers I ever bought. It's actually built by a local company about an hour north of here called Corn Pro. They build some awesome trailers, but they are a real pain in the butt to work with. All right, let's roll. That field does not even look like the same place. No, no, it don't. Man, that looks good. So this whole lower part down here, previous, laid so wet it wouldn't grow anything. And right now it looks like the best part of the field. Yeah. So if you guys don't know, there's several videos in this field. We pattern tiled part of it, put some dry dams in up there you can't hardly really see. But right here crossing this road is where we pulled the tile plow into. You pulled the tile plow. Wanna check our pipes, see if they're running over? Yeah, we'll go check them. Man, that looks, that is the best this field has ever looked. It's insane. Out. Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. Still running. You get down there in snake heaven. Snake heaven. It's too cold for snakes this morning. Perfect. That was one of the rocks we pulled out. Can't hardly believe it hasn't went nowhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So the issue we got here is way over on the back side. I think we videoed it, didn't we? Yeah, we videoed it. We put a rolling there's a rolling hump back here we put a pipe into a low spot we did not put a riser we did not put a riser on that low spot because chris thought that just the uh, pipe would pull the groundwater out of the ground and keep the keep the hole dry but we didn't know at the time is the guy the neighbor's pond overflows into that hole <laughs> so the hole's not dry you know but I don't know if you remember, but I was sitting back there waiting to build a dry dam for about an hour. <laughs> that is Do you right. remember that? <laughs> we See, got... <laughs> we should have just done it then when I was well, sitting back there waiting. We got a natural dry dam. We just need a hole. We just need a yeah. drain at the bottom of it. But, but yeah, I was back there waiting on you, and I'm like, what's he doing? Is he not coming back? And then I popped my head. Oh, yeah. Well, we got, uh, we, as I like to say, we got video evidence of that as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so the good news is... I probed the tile the other day, and I think it's outside the big water hole. So I think we can maybe get this riser on there without needing waders. 
The other good news is, is technically if we find the pipe, we got a drain. Yeah. Oh, well, I got, I, I got us a pair of rubber boots that I keep in the truck. They don't fit me though, they only fit you. No, you had them on. <laughs> you had them on, pressure washing. But you know what I noticed? They ain't in here. They're sitting right there by your front door going into your house. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so, boy, they're doing a lot of good here. That's two pairs of boots, rubber boots that I had on this truck that have disappeared off this truck. <laughs> you you have got to learn to put stuff back. Well, maybe you need to then get you your, your size rubber boots. All right. Let's get, we're getting All right, where are you going in at now? Well, so right there's the hole. You guys see the big wet hole? Ooh, that is a pond out there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm hoping we can just track right through the fence line here. Yeah, he's getting a lot of water in there. Not to see, he should have listened to me. Oh, hell. Sometimes Farmer Chris ain't always right. Sometimes maybe he But you know what listen. Farmer Chris does do? What? Usually pays the bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, see, this would have saved him a little money. I got to charge him overtime today. <laughs> All right, let's go see what we can find. Think over the left about 10 foot is where you need to be. Well, can you go to your left about 10 foot just for the heck of it? Hopefully we don't have to go get our fancy locator thing. Oh. Ooh, I felt that. Yep. Nailed it. All right. Now where's it go? Still it right there. Okay. Oh, I just poked through it. No, we don't want to do that there. Okay. Oh. Right there. Right there. Keep on coming. Need to go to your, yeah. Well, I know when you pulled, you pulled all the way out to the fence. There it is. Right there. All right. Here. Right there. Okay. There. What are you I thinking, right about there? Right yeah. That's pretty well, pretty the center, and then you can slope it all into it. deep we got a track of it or shovel it well my thing is are you wanting to drain that water yeah well that's the whole purpose of putting the drain on okay well, we're gonna have to get it out here you can go ahead and get it over here i'll get the shovel um we you think you can cut the end and then start draining it letting it go ahead and drain i say are you wanting to go ahead and put the I tea say, on go ahead it put the tea and everything on it while our holes dry yeah and then once we get everything on it and then we'll let her break it. loose all right hey uh great job by locating that by the way we're not gonna tell iron we're gonna close that up turn the heat on it is a it is just a tidbit nipply out there this morning especially for mid-april around here oh man my light just come loose up there Play that on crash. All right. Get tracked off here. This is kind of the neighbor's right away entrance down through here. I don't want to disturb any more than what I need to or have to. If we get tracked through the property line here, any issues? Excuse me, coming through. Oh, you're a little bigger. You behave yourself over there. All right. We are in the field. That is 
wet down there. I don't know if you guys remember to watch the videos there. We uh, originally plowed this in. We purposely made this pipe not very deep right here. Hoping this surface water would get down to it a little bit quicker. Hoping that don't bite us in the butt here. It allows us to get this T deep enough to get this riser on there because the original plan was never to put a T or a riser here. But, uh, well, see how well that stuff works. Right there. Gonna be real close. There you go, down. There you go. That's good. Who needs a fancy locating rod? Yeah. Oh, Crash has got that, don't he? Oh, Crash, yeah. We're a blank Crash. <laughs> That's crash. your fault. That's definitely Crash. All right. Remember all the progress I was talking about at the farm down there? Yeah. <laughs> uh. We got a gusher. It's draining. It's yeah, going it's somewhere, draining. ain't it? Yeah. Ain't that wild? Yeah, it is. A pipe can't go up there, but another. You got it. Uh, well, yeah, don't go that far, but. Well, you, it you, can go, but about right there because I, I had to stop the dozer. As far as you possibly go, I remember that. Now, did you get that salt off for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all right. No, what's I the temperature? What's minimum. The uh, rental fee on my saws. <laughs> What's the temperature of that water is for? It's freezing. The groundwater, I think, is colder than the uh, above ground water. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that makes any sense at all. Uh, I think you're making stuff up at this point. Oh. This is the one. This pipe also got a little bit shallow as we plowed through that big hump and cut a notch in there. There's a video of this somewhere. We hit rock coming through there, man. We were deep and pulling hard, remember? Oh, yeah. All right, T. T. Ow. When your hands are cold, everything hurts folks. All right. Screws. I just need a couple of them there, bud. All right. Okay. In fact, uh, this ain't the driver that I like. I don't know. Get the driver that I like. I don't know to. where the impact went. That's a good you, question. You never put anything back. That's the problem. I don't think I used it though. I'm gonna start charging you. <laughs> you you used my truck for a whole week without me. You probably did something with it. No. I did. I made sure that I ran through two full tanks of gas just driving around. <laughs> don't surprise me. Well, it's super convenient there's a tile already there. Yeah. All right. There's your field carrot. All right. Long size. go is it low enough looks like it is yeah i think it yeah it's low enough i think we're good there well you want to backfill the hole back and then we'll it. then we'll cut the water off into it that hurt yeah it does hurt yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right
Oh yeah. Oh, it's deep there. See that sucker? She's a gushing in there. That sound of that water running real good like that makes me want to go pee. I know. <laughs> the question is, do we want to go... Uh... Walk through the wheat and check the other end. Yeah, it ain't that far. We can do that. I got that all draining down through there pretty good. I think after it, Chris gets the wheat out of here, if he wants to make this perfect, we're going to have to get in here. And... Yeah. Well, it's like right there, what I'll say, I, I didn't remember that right there when we were out here. I think that's from years of them trying to plow across it wet, and it's just made Yeah. a little... That's uh, because uh, I mean, I know when we were out here, if I'd have seen something like that, it would have been like, uh, it's not nice a question. That pipe run like that, plowing through that hump and up over that. Yeah, this pipe's laid almost flat. Yeah, and yeah, because like a champ, which confirms our it's just always nice to confirm our top plow. Yep, jump. so uh, yeah, I think we go check the end. Uh, wheat's getting kind of caught tall. Uh, you give me a piggyback ride over there. <laughs> I got I got a 105 pound limit. Oh, 105? Yeah, 105. I'll drop my boots. I'll be close to it. Yeah, yeah. Your birthday. <laughs> you're not getting a piggyback drive. Your <laughs> All right, let's go check the other end. <clears throat> Houston, we have water. Holy cow! Yeah, it's running good there. Yeah, you know, that rod is only having what a couple holes showing. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's doing its job there. That looks good. That pipe's deep. We'll draw that hump. Yeah. Well, I was here to make sure you done that all right. So. Did you show them our clearing up there? No, I didn't show them that. Yeah, I have to show them that where we cleared out. Arizona, I'm sure that's deep. It, yes, it is. Yeah, I know. I'm probably going to walk over, but it don't look bad at all. Heck yeah. Yeah. That's nice there. Like seeing that. Oh, it's about to fall my Yeah. <laughs> all right. We could sit out here all day admiring our work, or we can go do some more work to admire when oh, we retire. The wind's not blowing. <laughs> yeah, it is. It does feel really good here. My ears ain't getting cold. All right. Let's hang right. around just a little bit longer, let that drain down, make sure we ain't got nothing holding us up. All right. And then we'll, uh, we'll go on the next one. Sounds good. Well, here we are. Yeah. I, I, a quick little nasty job. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. Well, there was I mean, there's acres, green. Seven everywhere. acres of trees and brush in here. And that, that hillside over there looks awesome. Yeah, which we knew. There's a little bit of a wet spot going up that ditch, which we knew might yeah. happen, but it, uh, um, but where, did you point out where you broke the window on the dozer? That was, huh? what, over here? Oh, you were driving down the road no. and you didn't have that door last. No. We could probably go back. I could give you an idea. It's right over there. What? Well, I don't see we anything. Off that poplar tree right there. We well, probably, we probably find you know what? We, we can blame Farmer Chris on that. Remember, he said just right here and we're good. Then he came down and looked at it, liked it so much, he wanted to clear more out. So, and that's when it happened. Yeah, yeah, it was, so that sycamore right there, it was probably about, I want to say, 40 foot out from that sycamore tree because we had everything pushed up on a pile here. Yeah, well, and I was pushing it and turning. Yeah, sycamore tree we ended up doing Yeah. Later. And I ended up trying to push that pile around like an idiot and had maybe a little too much and one snapped. No, well, all in I'm, all, this looks, uh, I mean, for what was supposed oh, yeah. to be just a 40 foot path through here to get to yeah, the field. Yeah, to get to that and, and a little opening over there. <laughs> yeah, we've got you can fly an airplane through it. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, that would be tickled to death with this. Well, you want to walk back over and see if our hole's drained? Yep, we'll check it out. All right, still taking water, getting down to the bottom of that carrot top, so the riser, so he's gonna scratch around and try to get just a little more water flow to help drain this a little quicker, which ain't gonna take much. A little bit here, a little bit there, and uh, should be good. It's good. 
little bit there. There we go. About like that. Lightly, lightly. There you go. Listen to me. There you go. Good job. Right like that. Beautiful. All right. On to the next one. All right. That's what I like to hear. Well, we're behind the scenes last time we were back here. I got a video of Chris getting his truck buried with a trailer on it and then driving like a farmer trying to get it out and made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> so we do not want to recreate that. Yeah. I don't think you were on this job. I think, no. me, and, I think me and Matt tiled this job. No, it's the first time I've been back in here. Straight ahead of us right there, there used to be five acres of trees that we took out. And we put a bunch of tile and dry dams down here in this. This is where Chris has got all of his clay pipe stored. Oh. Man, it looks different back here too. Holy cow. Ain't been back here in a while. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. Never been back here. <laughs> all right, let's not get stuck. Yeah, especially right there. Oh yeah, that's the poopy pile. Oh yeah, we're uh, we're gonna we're just gonna park her right there. Sounds good to me. <laughs> we'll turn around when we get out. Yeah. So this piece of property here, Farmer Chris, the family actually owned. We've done quite a bit of work up here. This little section right here, there was about five acres of trees in there. We took out and cleared in an old house. Uh, that's the one, if you guys remember, John from Upstate Brush Control, him and his crew come down, uh, helped us out on just a little bit. And then just over the hill right here, we plowed some pipe in and put some dry dams in. And uh, I think that's been three years ago we did that. Long story short, we got one dry dam down here. The riser floated up out of. Pat worked on it one time, and uh, I think we didn't know it at the time, but we plowed over, we plowed through an old tile, and that old tile is taking water somewhere, which is good. But it sucks all the dirt out around the tee, and it allows the riser to float up. So we'll dig down, find out what we got. But basically, we're going to need to. Uh, Basically, we're going to need to get that old tile stopped off and then get our new tile reopened. But uh, this up through here looks absolutely excellent. Chris didn't get it planted in weeks. He worked kind of done with it, but it, uh, it looks good. I should probably go back and find the video to confirm this, but I'm pretty sure our main line tile comes right up through here. And we teed off of it, put this riser in, and then that pipe keeps on going and feeds that dry dam. I don't know if you guys can see the big hole underneath it, but whenever Matt repaired this, he found there was an old tile down there that ran down through here. So we need to find that old tile, get it terminated, and then put all this back. Yeah. Okay. That simple. Most importantly, while you're tracking down, did you find any sheds for me? I did not. You probably weren't even looking for I was not. That's what I thought. I was more excited to realize this hole was empty because somebody told me it was full of water. So we're going to count that as a win. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I ain't going to count it as a win. I walked down through there looking everywhere. I couldn't find me no deer sheds. So. All right. Well, let's see if we can uh, dig this up without destroying it anymore. Right. Yep. No, no, it's just a Higginbottom T. Uh, the main line must be over there then. Yeah, there ain't nothing but the, uh, all that is is a Higginbottom T. Ends closed. See another tile in there. Ah, uh, there's a T right here. Looks like, like we got a T where this T's in and one that's goes. Our, that's our main line we put in. And then that's another one right there, but there's no tying it in. That's the one that, that's probably the other end of it over here we're fighting. Yep, yeah, might be. So.
So this here goes down, tees in. You got a line goes that way. That's the main line we put in. And then it goes this way, it looks like. So yeah. Uh, but that, that there, I don't know. I think we need to find the other end of that pipe is underneath that riser. Underneath this riser? Yeah. Well, if uh, if you dig out a little bit more, can I just take this riser, pull it, pull that back, and I'll pull that riser around and we'll try to find it. Yeah. It's kind of coming back to me, man, behind the scenes. So that's our main line coming up. It continues on and catches a dry dam up there. We put two T's in one hole. This pipe goes that way. A little piece of pipe you've seen is one that uh, Matt just threw in the hole and covered up. You think we can just pull that whole riser up out of there and then we can excavate that hole and see what we got? Yeah. Part one. Part one. Apparently Matt didn't screw these. It's a good thing we fired him. Oh, I was going to get some comments. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to find good help these days. I don't even know if that was in. Oh, look, that water running. Holy snikes. Uh -uh. Well, the tile still works. You guys, I don't know if they can see that. It's always nice when you come back three years later and you're, yeah. everything's <laughs> you still working, work right? Again. All right. Well, I guess I need to take a big old scoop out of that hole right there and see if we can find that old tile Matt was talking about. Yeah. Oh, what doing its job? It's running backwards. You for sure you didn't put that in? This may not be the most uh, professional method. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. That little booger's caused a lot of trouble. Yeah. All right, well, that should keep her from taking water. I'm surprised it's taking water because it's damaged halfway down the field somewhere, so it needs to be somewhere. stopped off. The other end's running a little bit, but we're gonna let that from what we've gathered it don't go much farther than the other side of that track oh so it should take care of itself so all right we'll fill this hole back in pack it in we'll put the riser back on yeah and then uh hopefully we're good to go It's ironic what the chances are of us putting that riser right over top of that old tile, but it never fails. That's the way it always works out. Looks better than when we showed up. Went, no sinkhole uh, there now. I went quicker and easier than what I thought. I didn't know for sure what we were getting into on this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, so. I mean, this is a three-year-old tile system we put in. And uh, everything we did seems to be working fine, so. Yeah. All right, well, we got one more small little job we're gonna do because we're close. Big test holes for a future pond. First, we're gonna get the truck turned around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that's not the most exciting part of this video. Yeah, no kidding.
Oh, he shouldn't have let off of it. <laughs> All right, tech T, we'll see what a little bit of momentum does for him. I haven't had to help him out yet. Get her in neutral drop it. Let's hope we don't get it stuck in a pile of poop up there. That's how Ford would have done it, right? You're about 30 mile an hour too slow for Chris. I kept her four low just to see if our four low did work. It works. It worked, yeah. Got that fixed. <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with it, but now it works. Yeah. All right, let's load up and get the HE double hockey sticks out of here. Send my master shirt up. Huh? Hi. <laughs> you gonna explain what kind of chaos you got us into today? Amazing chaos. Amazing Sometimes chaos. the description is better left silent. I'm kidding. So we have a farm pond to build. Well, Dirt did, we, did we leave the part out where we went cross country for the last three and a half hours? Yeah. yeah. Got lost twice, seen a billy goat in a caveman. Yeah. We did see a caveman, but it wasn't three and a half hours. <laughs> okay, two hours and 45 minutes. It took us 20 minutes to find it with the Jeep and 45 minutes to find it with the All escalator. Right. <laughs> well, Bigfoot must be taking a siesta because I didn't see him. <laughs> the only thing yeah. we didn't see between here and there. the bottom of the cliff ledge. Yeah. All right, so what's your plan of attack here? So this drainage yeah. is a great path to retain water and livestock is up here frequently throughout the year. And he has to have two separate pastures for the sheep and he needs two separate ponds. He's got one on the other corner and he needs one on this corner. All right, so. And he hired us to build it. So now you gotta dig some test holes and find out what the dirt quality is. The pond's actually gonna be down there, but there's a hot tinsel right. fence in the way. So we're gonna dig a test hole right here, which if we got good dirt up here, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have good dirt down there. And there's a 12 foot cliff ledge about 50 feet that way. So we're we know we're gonna hit rock at some point in time. So we gotta stay here. Anybody gonna take bets on what kind of dirt we hit? I'm gonna know, guess. Cause I don't wanna jinx yourself. I'm going to guess some good topsoil first. I don't know if there's much. All right, let's dig a hole. We're going to dig a hole here, and we're going to dig a hole on the other side and see what we got. And then, uh, why can't people build ponds out in the middle of nowhere? This one's in the woods again. Yeah. Because they know we're just that good. Huh. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Well, hopefully you guys can see out my dirty window. We're going to dig down here as deep as we can. See what kind of material we end up with. And we'll kind of know what we're getting into when we come back to possibly build a pond one day. Some good looking stuff so far. That is some excellent looking stuff so far. Nothing like three grown men standing around staring at a hole in the ground. Yep. Six foot deep hole in the ground. Well, they always say six foot under. Well, I think that's a little deeper than six foot. Well, I'm too big, I can't fit. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, here's the good news. This is the dirt we dug out. The, uh, the lower or the upper levels, uh, the upper layer, I should say, is this, man, that is like, that is some damn good material. You get, you get the joke? Pun intended, yes. right? Damn. <laughs> All right, so that's our, that's our upper. That's, 
Oh, I got some right here. Oh! Hey, good shot. Good shot. Poke myself. Poke myself right in the eye. All right. The middle layers is this stuff. It's not quite as good. This is the stuff that turns into like uh, Jello whenever you run across it and work the moisture up a little bit. And then you get to the lower stuff. It's this stuff here, which pretty good indication we're getting closer to rot. This stuff's fine as long as you mix it. So long story short, we got good material here. We're just gonna have to kind of mix the layers as we go. Makes a nice little ball. Yeah, should hold water though. What do you think? One more on the upper corner to confirm, or are you happy? I'll tell you what, to be honest with you, with the way this lays, what that hole told us, in my experience, I think we're good. That two hour and 45 minute travel time is killing you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> We've reached our budget. Uh, me being a safety guy, uh, you've got safety glasses on. I know. Your... Is my eye bleeding? I feel like it is. It is not, it's but not it's watering. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you did just stab yourself well, just, in the eyeball. Oh, bam. Well, somebody put that tree right in my way. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put them safety glasses where they belong. That will happen. Sorry. I'll put my safety glasses on, and that'll cover up my injury so you can't this, see it. This is your verbal warning. <laughs> so get <a> <laughs> All right. Step on the wrist. I think this one's a go if you want to inform your customer. I will. And uh, He's going to be happy to hear that. we got to get off this mountaintop. Yeah. The worst part about the whole thing of telling a customer he's got the good dirt is he's going to say, when are you going to no, no. go, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have are you going to be the scheduler from now on? <laughs> are you going to be the scheduler from now on? No, I'm not very good at that. <laughs> neither is the weather. I'll say, neither is the owner. <laughs> I'm good at doing things when he's on vacation. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. The problem is, it's not the stuff I need done. Oh, <laughs> the stuff he needs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fill this in. Hole is filled in. We are out of fuel. There is a storm cloud moving in. It's time to get off this hill, calling. Right. I got the truck up here <laughs> and the trailer. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> We're on a mountain. I'm talking a mountain on wet grass and i don't know if they can see but it is raining yeah and you got a tight turn to make up oh. here and you better slow down i ain't got the brakes set oh you don't know oh, no. <laughs> yep yep i forgot to tell you i didn't have nothing on my trailer oh, oh it's raining uh, sideways and some of it's yeah always. so you don't get over my way anymore i think the wind's gonna blow us off here holy cow okay you are clear clear on my side now you just gotta watch that post back there Oh, oh, I told you. Oh, man, why is the steep side got to be on my side? Holy smokies. Yeah. Hey, before we go down the mountain, did you set the brakes? It is literally running sideways. Can they yeah. I don't know if they can see or not. Well, I can sure see it. And it's got ice in it. All right, hang on. You have the seatbelt on? I'll put the seatbelt on them. I'm going to take care of them first. Who's gonna get out and get the bucket at the bottom if we make it out of here? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll be the laborer now. <laughs> You're the operator. I, I love the uh, L.A. nine and three, but I love how you got both hands on the steering wheel. <laughs> Makes me feel a little bit safer. I'm oh. pretty sure the camera don't do this any justice at all. No. It's gonna make a nice little pond up there though. Yeah. Oh. We don't just, worry, you got some speed bumps here. You'll uh, drag on this one, I promise you. Really? Yeah, I drug on it. Oh, oh there it is. Feel it? Just a little bit, yeah. Yep. Oh, I think we're home for All right. right. Now we got it. Now all you got to do is uh, put the bucket on. Oh. You want to play Mr. Operator? That's your job. And, uh, this is a uh, driveway, not a road, so I ain't got to get out and flag for you. <laughs> is, that, is that how the rules work? <laughs> that is it. All right, there's two things good. It's raining. I got a roof over my head, so I'm going to stay dry. It's like sleeting. It's Another like... thing, the bucket is on my side, so my people can watch you run out there, get that bucket, and Man, load it up. here loading up metal bit for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, run. Oh. 
Hurry up every chance you get. Your people are getting wet. Make sure to close the door, Crash. It's still cool out here. Look good out there. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, you did a fine job. I'm proud of you. All right, now we can go. Oh, I see you get out of the truck now. The sun's back out. The sun's out now. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, yeah, I still, got, uh, still got water spots on my glasses. Yeah, hopefully, it stayed sunshiny the whole time here and it dried out our ditch, which is like just yeah. around the corner down yeah. there. But uh, you think we'll get that lucky? I, I'm betting we don't. Fingers crossed. Fingers yeah. crossed. So, all right, guys, that's going to be a wrap on this one. That was uh, quite the adventurous day, to say the least. Yeah. But uh, we're back to Derby safe and sound for the most part we got uh we got a lot accomplished for a kind of yeah. crap day yeah we did but uh as always hope you guys enjoy if you did big old thumbs up i'm gonna make sure you catch us on the next one if you haven't already consider subscribing mm -hmm. and uh yeah that's a wrap tell them bye see you guys